everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Matt Chat Live. I'm super excited to have my new friend here, Lisa Williams, joining us today on the show. Hello, Lisa. Hey, Matt. Thanks for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Yeah, I'm glad you're here, too. Tell everybody where you're coming from and a little bit about yourself. So I'm calling in from McKinney, Texas, which is just north of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's beautiful and sunny here today. So, uh, you know, if you're somewhere in the northeast or the you know, Midwest, you might not you be getting the sun. Yeah. <laughs> you might not be getting the sun that I'm getting. Um, I own It's Simply Digital. I'm the founder and CEO of It's Simply Digital. And we are a digital marketing agency and we work with entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and small businesses to help build their brand so they could build their business. That's amazing. So there's a lot of companies out there, a lot of digital branding companies, marketing companies. So, you know, what's what's some of the personality or difference in, in your business that might set you apart from 6,337,000 other ones? <laughs> well, um, I think, you know, it's it's hard to differentiate yourself because there are, like you said, every everybody is doing this nowadays, right? But I think a couple of things that I feel um, differentiate me from maybe some of the other ones out there is I've been doing this, Matt, since I went to college. I went to college for marketing. So way back when, um, that was my, my jam. That's what I've been doing. I have experience doing sales and experience doing marketing. I've been out out in the trenches before, you know, this isn't just something that I just created, you know, out of out of thin air. Um, I've done cold calling, I've done, you know, telesales. So I have all that background for the sales and the marketing. And then, you know, I bring that in with the digital piece. And, you know, voila, there you go. And I think the other thing is I'm super passionate about the psychology of marketing. So I like to know what the consumer, what the audience, what your potential person is thinking. And so I do a lot of research and study on the psychology of marketing. So that's amazing. So do you help somebody? There's a lot of people out there that are starting businesses now. Some folks that have been in uh, corporations or work for other companies and now want to do their own thing. Mm -hmm. But then there's this brick wall that people people hit that they think they know the answer to, but they don't rightly know. That's a good answer. Right. Uh, exactly <laughs> who their their ideal client is, their avatar. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you help clients help with that as well, or are they supposed to come to the table already knowing their avatar and their ideal client? No, I help them unpack everything. So we start from the very beginning. I want to get to know my client. So I want to get to know who they are, what they stand for, um, you know, how they think, you know, are, are they very professional and business like? Are they fun and, you know, energetic? You know, I want to get to know them so that I can. I know how to represent them and which tone to represent them in. And then we all we build a brand script. We figure out who their audience is, how to speak to their audience. Um, and we also want to make sure that we let their audience know what their life is going to look like after they've done business with a potential client of mine. So uh, taking them through that, that journey of this is what your life looks like today. This is what it could look like. And this is how we help you. And this is what your life looks like after you do business with us. So is that just building a website for somebody? No, I actually don't build websites. I, I actually <laughs> work on the messaging part of, of, the, of the website. So one of the first things that I do for my clients is I go and I look at their website and their online presence, where, whether it's LinkedIn or Facebook or you know wherever they, they hang out. And we help simplify their message because as consumers, we have so much coming at us every single day, whether it's social media, whether it's email, what, you know, kids, family, you know, we have so much coming at us. And so I really help my clients simplify their message. And just, you, you're almost kind of dumb it down to like a fifth grade level, you're really and I say dumb it down. I, I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, <laughs> it's true. We gotta, we gotta be simple is better. You're right. So 
simple. You're just simplifying their message. So one of the first things we do is I go and look at their website and I say, oh my gosh, you're coming at me with too much information. And as a potential consumer or a potential you know, client, how, how do I do business with you? And what is it that you're going to help me solve? What problem are you going to help me solve? So just really, really simplifying the message. Less is more these days. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And with uh, with the wonderful world of COVID and 2020 it has been such a crazy wild year. And uh, thank the Lord we're, we're past that and looking forward to an incredible new year here at 2021. Right. Um, there's been a lot of folks that have wanted to spread their wings mm -hmm. and to uh, to try to do something new, with, which I think is amazing. Um, but obviously, there's going to be a lot of people doing that. There's going to be a lot of saturation out there. So so what are some of those ways that people can stand out uh, against other folks in, in big industries? Um, you talked about less is more problem solving statements, right? So mm -hmm. what's what's that all about? Well, okay, let me back up and say, first of all, you have to be consistent in order to get that momentum going. And it doesn't happen overnight. So if you have somebody coming to you and telling you, I'm going to get you a thousand new leads or a hundred new leads, or we're going to make you a rock star, and they think that that's going to happen within a 30 day window, that is not that's not real. That's not realistic. I mean, you need time to build up that that brand, build up that image, build up that momentum, and it needs to be consistent. And so just taking a step back and looking at how you're delivering your message, where you're delivering your message, and making sure that your brand is consistent throughout every platform that you're working on. And that you are, that's how you're going to get your momentum so that you're constantly listening to your potential customer online or wherever they're hanging out, whether it's, you know, whatever social media channel they're hanging out on, you're listening to what your clients are saying so that you could provide value based on what you're hearing. Yeah, no, it's so good. So let's, let's back it up even for a little bit. You said okay. that uh, marketing is your jam. <laughs> it's my jam. Jam. <laughs> So what made your jam? Did you like at five years old think like one day I want to be a marketing company and I want to do all kinds of stuff and promote people and do online business? And what 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 got you to that point? Oh, so, you know, it's been a long, windy road and I've lost focus so many times throughout this process. So if we can back up um, a couple years ago. I was engaged to be married to a wonderful man and uh, we had combined our lives and, you know, started combining our families together. And we, um, we had talked about me starting a business. I loved podcasting. I loved listening to podcasts. I loved finding podcasters. And so that was kind of the path that we had we had talked about and, you know, we had talked about when we got married, he would help, you know, support me so that I could launch my business and blah, blah, blah. Um, he was tragically killed in a car wreck um, three weeks after we moved in together and combined our lives. And so this was two and a half years ago and my life took a different path. It, it, it completely turned upside down. And so I didn't know where I was going, what I was doing. I was working a full-time job. I was raising two teenagers. Uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew that my end goal was to somehow get to where I am today. I didn't know what that looked like. I didn't know how that was going to happen. Um, so Two years ago, this month, I incorporated myself and I started, it was called Recognize Your Truth. And I know this is going to be loud. I probably, I, mean, I probably should have had this out already, but I created these little sticky notes that were just like these little I am statements. So like this one says, I'm grounded, I'm spectacular. And I literally just started selling sticky notes these I am sticky notes. I did a, in pop-up shops. I did them online. I just started selling them very far from where I am today, but that's how I started and uh, joined the John Maxwell team to get some, some coaching and some training. 
I thought I was going to go down that path. I launched my podcast a year and a half ago under the name of Recognize Your Truth, where we did a lot of mindset and unpacking of how you got to where you are. Um, and then as the, the time progressed and as time moved, I just kept thinking, I love social media. I love digital marketing. I love the psychology of marketing. All the while, while this was all going on, I was studying that constantly and had a couple of clients that I was doing that for and found myself unemployed um, back in September due to COVID and just decided to take a bet on myself and, and you know, launch my own business. And, and here we are. So it's, it's been a long, windy road. It's, it's not always been easy either. Oh, no, that's, that's amazing. And, and actually horrific, obviously. Um, you know, obviously, I've been through a lot of, a lot of bad moments in my life as well. And, and a lot of folks here can relate to that. So, you know, during that time, when, when you lost the man that you loved, and you had all these plans, um, you, uh, you dug deep, it sounds like, and were able to do something different, even with the I am stickers, which was a great thing to do. So, you know, what was that process like for you? That place between, <laughs> between loss and desperation and despair, and then that place of I am. Right. Oh, gosh, it was, um, you know, it's, you have shock, when you have shock and grief happen to you, your body literally shuts down, your mind shuts down, your body shuts down, you know, there, I, I couldn't function on a day to day basis. Thank you, God, I had a wonderful team of friends and family around me that literally took control of my life. I, I, I kid you not, they, they managed my entire life for a good while. And so I feel like that was such a blessing. But but I created that throughout the years, right? Because you bring and attract people to you based on where you are. And so I had a wonderful team of people that helped me. Um, and, you know, grief, you, you kind of live in this fog, your head space is, you, you, don't, you don't even remember day to day what goes on. So, you know, lots and lots of counseling, lots of grief counseling, lots of life coach counseling, lots of conversations with friends and family. Um, and just kept thinking, I need something to make to fulfill me, whatever that looked like. I don't know what it looked like at the time I was sitting in the shower. And I was like, I'm going to make some sticky notes. <laughs> I mean, that literally just popped to me in the shower. And I, I, I do some graphic designs in the past. And so you know, just got on the computer, created them, found a printer to print them and just started selling them. And it just kind of fulfilled me. It gave me a purpose. And then somebody suggested that I go online and start doing videos with each one of these and talk about why I'm grounded today. And if we go back and look at those videos, I'm terrified to be online, terrified to do a video. Um, they're quite, you know, interesting because you you only look back to see how far you've come, right? Um, and so here I am doing a live with you, <laughs> and you know, don't even think really much of it. But yeah, I was terrified to get online and do videos and and talk about myself or my purpose or how I want to help others. So it it's been because there's so many people that are afraid to do video. How did you get on that first one? With a lot of tears. <laughs> and you know, my heart literally was coming out of my chest for that for and this wasn't even a live video. This was a recorded video that I was going to put out there. Um I think I probably re-recorded it at least 20 times, maybe even more, you know, I probably should have put out all the re-recordings and that probably would have been even better. Um, but, you know, I did the first one and then I posted it and I got response and that kind of 
and, and it was a good response. You know, people were very positive and, you know, thank you for this messaging. You have no idea how it impacted me today. And then I would get private messages from people that said, you had no idea that I needed to hear that today. And literally Matt brought tears to my eyes. It, it That's what fueled me to do it again and again and again is the feedback that I got. So that took all the fear away once I started realizing that, hey, people actually are resonating with my with my message and they like hearing whatever sticky note I'm bringing to them that day. And I did a 50 day challenge with myself and because the, the pack has 50 sticky notes in it. And I did a challenge with myself and went online every single day for 50 days and brought a different message. And by the, you know, 10th day, of course, you know, that fear goes away and you just, you love what you're, what you're doing. And here I am. <laughs> yeah, no, that's amazing, Lisa. So one of the things I've got to take away from there, besides all the awesome uh, encouragement to start doing it is you were able to, by being genuine, by being yourself, you were able to build a community. Mm -hmm. And in that community, you build a support that um, really helped catapult you, but at the same time, fueled you to share that message with other people that actually drew more people, right? So right. that's really what you're talking about here with It's Simply Digital and being able to take on a client who might be in the situation, maybe not as, as horrible, hopefully, as your situation with mm -hmm. losing somebody, somebody who uh, really is nervous or, or scared or whatever of, of starting something or thinking, oh my God, I'm going to have to do, go on video, right? And Because I've heard that many times from people in my, in right. my business as well. Um, so, you know, building that community is so important. So you're going to be able to help uh, really hold the hand of somebody through that process, through somebody that's been there and done that as well. And right. help them actually build a community, if they don't have a community, to build a community and or really to dig into the community that they have and really, really, you know, scale that thing up. Right. Right. And so one of the things, you know, that I feel like I, I'm able to do for my clients at this point is really just, like I said, listen to where they are, you know, whether you're just a startup and you're just getting started or whether you've already built a brand and you just need help, you know, catapulting to the next level. It's really just listening to, to my clients and listening to my audience and figuring out where are you and how, how can I help you? You know, there's so many um, brands and businesses and entrepreneurs and solopreneurs out there, and they're really good at whatever they do. Whatever it is, whether it's finance, whether it's coaching, whatever it is, but it's really hard to do the marketing and build your business at the same time. So I feel like one of the things I allow my clients to do is focus on their business, which I say that all the time, you know, focus on your business. Let me focus on the marketing and the branding, you know, right. while you focus on building your business. You help entrepreneurs yeah. create a action to develop their social presence, increase brand recognition, and take them to the next level. Mm -hmm. So um, what's the next level? <laughs> well, my hope is that we are bringing clients to them or attracting the right clients to them and getting those conversations started. You know, um, I, my, my job is the marketing. So, you know, my hope is I can put the right clients or put you in front of the right clients and the right clients in front of you and connect the two. And like I said, Matt, it's consistency. So it's, it's showing up every single day where your audience is and making sure that you're providing value, you're providing content, you're providing feedback, you're engaging, you're sharing, you're liking, you're posting, you know, it's, and it's, and it's helping my my clients make sure that they're doing that online. You know, that's so good. And for those folks that are watching here on LinkedIn, primarily where um, I live during most of the days, um, there's a lot of great opportunities and resources available on LinkedIn. But I'm sure that you uh, you have things that you provide on LinkedIn for folks uh, as well. Do you have a daily post or do you have videos that you put out on LinkedIn or? 
I do. So I have a marketing minute video that I put out. It's actually kind of a fun video with some fun music and an intro and everything. And I literally um, put out a question, you know, like yesterday's post happened to be about what does baking have to do with digital marketing? And it's that right mix of the right ingredients to get your end result. And so I do a, a marketing minute video. I have a podcast called It's Simply Digital. Um, I interview experts in the industry, as well as entrepreneurs and, you know, business men and women, you know, how, how to help your, you grow and scale. Um, I have a website as well. And I also drop a lot of valuable information on my blog post, you know, where I share a lot of, a lot of content about digital marketing. And I have a new PDF coming out. Um, probably, it'll probably be out this week, uh, the top t uh, 10 digital marketing trends in 2021. And that's going to be ready on, on my website. Um, I'm going to just say tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. So that gives people a chance in that PDF to kind of look into 2021 and prepare themselves and their business to do certain things or certain ways to reach their, their ideal clients, their clients and customers. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a, it's a really great, um, you know, it just gives you some, some tools to think about when you're helping yourself build your own brand. You know, not everybody um, can go out and start a business and then immediately go out and hire a marketing team. Right. I mean, that that's just not realistic. And I understand that. And so my goal is to provide as much value to any potential business owner, entrepreneur, solopreneur, while they're building their brand to help them, whatever, whatever marketing they need, my, my goal is to provide that so that eventually they'll come to me, you know, and look to me if they are getting at that, at that level to scale. Sure. So they can get this PDF that you've got come out at, uh, at your website at simplydigital.com. Yes. It's simplydigital.com and it's going to be under the blogs. Oh, that's fantastic. So if people do want to get a hold of you, I, I believe that's obviously here on LinkedIn. Um, you're yes. on Facebook as well. I am. It's it's Simply Digital on Facebook. Um, my website is it's simplydigital.com. My podcast is it's Simply Digital. I'm here on LinkedIn. I, LinkedIn is really where I hang out every single day, posting content, posting videos, interacting with wonderful people like you, Matt, and, um, and sharing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Well, that's amazing. So, you know, for folks that are watching right now and are thinking about wondering if 2021 is going to be a good year or a bad year for their business, they're contemplating what they should do, you know, how they should do it, or they're just nervous about getting anything going. Um, you've been through a lot in your life. So if you could, if you could talk to that one person listening right now, who's kind of on the fence about things, and uh, maybe even concerned about contacting you because they think they can't afford you. Right. Um, somebody for that matter. Um, what, what would the one piece of advice you would offer to that person that's listening right now that would be thinking those things? So, you know, I have been terrified to bet on myself. Terrified. You know, I, I always kept thinking... I need the full-time job to support me while I build my side hustle. I, I was terrified to jump all in and, and bet on myself. And so wherever you are in your, in your journey, you know, I would say bet on yourself and know that you can make it happen and believe in yourself because no one else is going to believe in you like you're going to believe in you. No one is. Um, and so you really have to just, take that chance and, and know, and I think it's a mindset, right? Because that's the only thing that holds us back is, is the fear of the unknown. But if you think about it, there's fear of the unknown every single day. I mean, every single day you get in a car, you get on an airplane, you, you know, whatever it is, there's fear of the unknown every single day. And so just taking that, that chance and really just betting on yourself and, and really having the confidence to do it. Yeah, that's so good. Bottom line is, folks, you're you're a safe bet when you bet on yourself, right? So yes. it's a good thing to have that faith and belief that you can you can actually do it. Um, right. Because it happened for Lisa. You know, she's made a choice, she's made a decision, and um, and she's pushing forward. And now you got this business, and you're helping other people do what uh, what 
what your jam is, right? You can live <laughs> what my jam life. is, yeah. yeah. And, cool. and I get to live the life that I've wanted to live. I get to create that myself, right? And yeah. and nobody else gets to tell me how to create that. And I'm going to fail and I'm going to succeed, but nobody else, it's not on anybody else. It's on me. Yeah, that's, a, that's an yeah. incredible place to be. And yeah. folks, you can, you can be there as well. And if you need some help with, with your marketing, with your branding, your imaging, with finding out who your, your ideal client is, what your problem solving statement might be, those types of things. Well, this gal right here to my side, Lisa Williams, is more than capable and definitely able to help you. And you can reach her at it's simplydigital.com. And Lisa, thanks so much for being with us today here at Matt Chat Live. Matt, it has been so awesome. Thank you so much. I loved connecting with you. I loved jumping on your Matt Chat Live. And I am so excited to, to share a little bit about myself with your audience. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And don't forget, folks, you can go to her website again. That's it, simplydigital.com. Go to the blog and you can download that PDF form she's got available for you. That's kind of a look into 2021 with what your marketing might look like. Yep. All right. Thanks again. Have a Thank good you. day. Everybody. Appreciate y'all so much. And welcome back from another episode of Matt Chat Live. <laughs>